Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Simon the Sorcerer 2 with Retro Kaiser. Ahoy, hoy! Ahoy, hoy! All right, let's go listen to these gob. I <laughs> some stuff. I is seeing your stuff. Yeah, let's, let's, let's watch them play another round of dice. I get a three and a five. Luck is going for me today. I get two sixes again. This time, I is saying some stuff. You know saying stuff, till I is betting stuff. Can I be bet- Hi, fellas. What do you want, human scum? Yeah, scum. <laughs> I love this little goblin. Uh, this guy actually kind of reminds me of Trapjaw a little bit. Uh, mm. Trapjaw and the Crypt Keeper. Human scum. Not understand the rules. Dice too complex sickiated for scum. <laughs> but at least I can talk proper. Humans is all stupid. All gobbos know that. Humans is stupid scum. So the pair of you. Ah, uh, I suppose so. All right, we do need those dice, so we're gonna start a little fight between the goblins. We're gonna steal some of the goblin stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that it just co that it's just called stuff. <laughs> that's better. I like it. It's like, oh, that's better. Stuff. Not me. Not me. Give me my stuff. I know take it. I know take it. And who is taking it? The invisible goblin. <laughs> Ow! I know Taker! Yep, and there they go. We take these uh, loaded dice now. Oh, now I remember where we get that freaking hanky. It's a, it's at the shack. I think they're loaded. Yeah, you think so too, Simon. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, actually, I mentioned already previously about Simon the Sorcerer 1, and actually, the thing about which is very different from this game is that in that game there's like a big overworld where all the puzzles are so and you can kind of sort of freely like uh solve them oh, i hate windows <laughs> oh i hate windows <laughs> i'm going to start a fight on someone good idea oh there's the hanky uh, I, I, I wasn't ha having any luck finding I'm it i'm a pacifist what's a pacifist Someone who doesn't hit you back. <laughs> well, that's a pacifist. Somebody who doesn't hit back. <laughs> oh boy. They're not wrong. Yeah, exactly. All right. Ah, you know what? I, I forgot to get the soda. <laughs> Another soda bottle. <laughs> Another bottle. <laughs> oh well. Let's uh, let's give the hanky to the uh, elf, and uh, I think his nose is gonna turn like red. I don't think he needs it at the moment. What do you mean, he doesn't need it? I don't think he needs it at the moment. You have to use it on him? No, it, it, I think we just need to... Oh, 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 we... I thought he just used all the pepper. The previous time, but apparently we still have some. And me without a handkerchief as well. Okay, he sneezed. I've already got it. <laughs> I've got a hanky for you. Oh, thank you, dear boy. One is most grateful. All right, and now I think, yep, his nose turned uh, yep. re red. But we still need friggin' soda for the perfume bottle. <laughs> <laughs> So, that, so he got, he can't smell us. He got a he got a flu from the, yeah. Those nerds have some nasty flu. If, they, if it got speaking of I'm gonna talk speaking about of soda perfume, perfume what soda would you prefer to smell like? What soda? Eh, eh, that's a hard one. Rupert manages to bore everyone into a state of blissful euphoria. I put the empty bottles back. Oh, we, well, we got we, good. We got rid of some inventory. Maybe Dr Pepper. I don't know. I don't really like. 
This sounds funny. I don't really like the smell of soda. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird sentence. <laughs> yeah, can you tell us it's getting pretty late in the session? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Uh, okay, so I think we just. Um... Oh. I filled the perfume bottle with soda. As we said it out loud. Good thing he can't hear anything we, we say to the player. <laughs> I might as well just give it to him. <laughs> oh, really? God damn this fucking hey, interface. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how wonderful. And here's your reward. Oh, thank you so much. I've got wood, baby. I've got wood. Creature, up yours, Nancy boy. Oh, you can't say that anymore. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, if I had to smell like a soda, it'd probably be Iron Brew. Iron Brew. Yeah, we don't have that over here. Who's that by? Some company. I get it from the import section for my supermarket. It's like it's like a fruity mineral water drink. Mineral water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I I legit hate mineral water. I don't know why people drink it. Ugh. Okay, but uh, for the minerals. For the minerals. <laughs> you know, you could try. I don't know, eating exactly is that just like normal tea? food and drinking regular water. <laughs> Same effect. <laughs> All right. Uh, now we gave the wood to the woodworm. Keep the chain. And now I actually, just as we were doing that elf puzzle, I finally remember what we need the witch's potion for, because I remember now what the just po what is that supposed to be? Uh, fortress of evil still under construction. It looks like a set of teeth to me. <laughs> fortress of evil still under construction. <laughs> I love that. Great. Oh, we still have the goblin stuff in our inventory as well. All right. Next time I want an ornamental wood carving, I'll know who not to call. Have a nice day. Oh. It's uh, general goblin stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, because we have to load a dice, so that's actually our little clue that we are going to have to go join that game of uh, accountants and whatever it was the other word. <laughs> mm. Yeah. All right, now we got to roll a um, critical success. Yep, exactly. I thought you might like these. That's much better, thank you. Let's get on with the recipe then. Right. <laughs> she really does take her sweet time reading that spe spell book. <laughs> There's something really weird about like the middle witch's face. Like, doesn't it look like it's like squished into the middle of her head? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like a Cabbage Patch Kid. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. And the witch on the far left kind of looks like Rick from Rick and Morty. Does she? Okay. <laughs> not a Rick and Morty watcher? No, not not at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Moving on? I re I'm remembering... Yeah. I'm trying to remember if the... Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the potion just does change color, but, like, uh, after she does... Like, the, the witch on the right does something to it. I love the little bones, like, whirling around at the top. <laughs> Now, all that is left is to say the incantation. Here you uh. are. The incantation. Read the incantation. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Fire hot and cauldron bubble. Continued overleap. Beware if you this potion swig. 
You shall be turned into an insert animal of your choice. <laughs> That's a bit of a strange ending. <laughs> what it says here, I think you're meant to say the name of an animal at that point. Oh, right. Which animal? I don't know. A cat. Something is the usual thing. You could say pig. It rhymes with swig after all. Everyone does pig. Let's do a dog instead. Very well. A dog it is then. All right, so it's a potion it's that. Done. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use another soda bottle. That way, luckily, we have the uh, the empty soda bottle from the perfume puzzle. Oop. Well, mm -hmm. there we go. Look, 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 look. And this, I think, is a bit I used in the. Uh, I think was it? The, I think it was the dumbest adventure game puzzles video. The ultimate adventure game cliche. Yes. <laughs> Ultimate adventure game cliche. It was in reference to another puzzle that happens a bit later on. In fact, we don't have too many puzzles left. This might actually be the final episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! What, did your bre bed break again? <laughs> no, I, I accidentally kicked the um, my um, heater. My All right. Feet. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is it, is it getting cold in Australia? Yeah. All right. Oh, that means I've gone up to level seven. Okay, so we have to join in, but they have a full set of players already. So let's give the dog potion to this guy who keeps chugging the sodas. Want to try this new triple caffeine stuff? Triple caffeine stuff. <laughs> I think energy drinks were not really like big yet when this game came out. We're short of a player now. Your friend is just turned into a beagle. Aren't you a bit shocked? Why would we be? Probably just a variation in the local magical flux. Happens all the time round here. Shame we're short of player now. We'll have to find someone else to take his place. Now, I'm thinking like this guy is supposed to be wearing like a beanie on his mm -hmm. head, but the way it moves around, it kind of looks like a blue turd, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Okay then. Do you know the rules? I think I get the gist of it. Yep, so now we get to play a round of this. <laughs> and we take the dog with us. I've got a spare character for you. A spare character. Hmm. It says here that I'm a journalist reviewing games for computers. Yeah, a computer is like a... He's me! <laughs> no, I know, I work for what PC Games Magazine magazine. That's right. You have no sense of humor whatsoever. Boy, that's fighting talk. It's though. Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> character, I mean. You mean that I give games 69% because it's an amusing score? <laughs> <laughs> I give games a 69% because it's an amusing score. <laughs> I don't approve, you know. Don't worry. I'm a dead shot with a BFG. You haven't got a BFG. What does BFG mean anyway? Big foot. Yes, yes, yes. I think we all suspect the answer to this one. Okay. <laughs> Everyone roll the dice. Is that a Doom reference? Of course it's a Doom reference. <laughs> this, was, this was 95. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Although, uh, wait, when did Doom come out? It came out like. It must have come out like. 93. 93, so two years before this, yeah. yeah. So oh. Doom must have must have been at the peak of its popularity. This would have been Doom 2, yeah, at this point. Too typical. What are we fighting? Didn't I say? No. An interior decorator. Oh yeah, we're fighting <laughs> an interior decorator. Oh. What's so scary? They can drink endless cups of tea. And show Cabinet's <laughs> ass cleavage. What are we gonna do? I think Simon had better row. Do you mind if I use my own dice? Go ahead. 
<laughs> That's why we needed to load a dice. <laughs> That's how we get into the castle. Okay, guys, what do you want to do now? Let's sack the place, right, and steal everything of value. That would be wrong and immoral. Maybe they've got a new modem in here somewhere, yeah? Uh, I hate <laughs> to break up the flow, guys, but uh, I gotta go. I'd like to say it's been fun, but, well, it really has been. I guess we'll play oh. without you then. All right. There's another thing about Simon 1, actually. Uh, it has a puzzle in it that I really... Uh, I, 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 I really took exception to because the, project, uh, the logic puzzle of it is really, really dumb. Uh, there's a part in which you have to get past an evil snowman. Like, you know, the snowman <laughs> made, of, made out of, like, three balls of snow. <laughs> yeah. And you, mm -hmm. you want to take a guess how you uh, beat him. Hopefully it's not the same. Hopefully it's not the same way that I tried to beat up a snowman once. How was that? I just ran up. I ran up and did a, like a wrestling drop kick. Nearly broke my foot on him. Yeah, that would have made more sense. You have to take breath mint, and Simon breathes fire on the snowman. <laughs> which I like it. Well, but yeah, but breath mints are supposed to like cool. Like I, I always get like a kind of a cool sense of a breath mint, and not no, like a fiery one. Been... Like, it would have like, been better if it was like chilies. Yeah, exactly. And I was like stuck for the longest time. And I, like, you had to eat mint in front of the snowman. And I'm like, what? Like, are you kidding me? All right. Have you got the catalog? I've got it right here. I suppose you can go in. Oh yeah, this theme. Oh, now I remember. They yeah, have this theme played over the uh, the oh, opening credits. That's a left. creepy looking gate, by the way. <laughs> I didn't mention it previously. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Looks like my mother-in-law. But I'm just shit. Do you reckon the boss will let I didn't know you got married. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and there's a bunch of stuff here to do, but let's go around the corner. Brace yourselves. This is pretty creepy. <laughs> Note to the viewers: I didn't really get married. Ah! Everyone's a critic. <laughs> me, Mr. Beast. Love it. I've got a wife and five kids. I, I'd be really bad for you. I, I have a high cholesterol content. I, I want to live. I'm, please give it a rest, will you? You mean you're not going to eat me? Maybe. Oh! I some unspeakable horrors. I like tax men. Everyone hates us. But we're just doing our job. My mother used to say, Life is like a box of chocolates. Although she was going through a strange or a sort of purpose. phase at the time. Oh, yeah. Ah! It's nice to have someone to talk to, actually. I mean, someone who doesn't just say, Die, foul mutant hell spawn! No! I should imagine you get through a lot of toothpaste. And floss? You wouldn't <laughs> believe the cost of the stuff! Dental hygiene is You know what? I really want to like this character, but I have a thing about eyes, and this guy has way too many of them. <laughs> what is your line of work exactly? There isn't much available for us unspeakable horrors. 
always wanted to be a weatherman. <laughs> oh man. What could you imagine a weatherman like that? Everyone that tries to get past. Oh. So, are you going to let me past? I'm afraid I have to eat you. I could spit your bones out through the door if you like. <laughs> yeah, this is like you're so polite. <laughs> In my line of work, loyalty to my master is very important. Lovely talking to you. Let's do it again sometime. Bye. Thanks for dropping by. Names <laughs> unpronounceable, by the way. Oh yeah, that's his name, <laughs> unpronounceable. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got any. I check your hand, but I haven't got any. Yeah, that's what he said. All right, so we need this tapestry, and uh... I'm getting um shadow, uh, Shadowgate vibes from this oh. room. Shadowgate. Never never played that one. That's a oldy old timey RPG, isn't it? Old timey RPG point and click game. Well, more straight up a uh, old school point and click game than anything. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, pull this lever. I like his arm um, athletic gear. Yeah, I do. I do too. You can actually talk to him, but uh, the the sound effects are play a little too loud. You can't really make out what he's saying. All right. So it's very dark now. So let's try sneaking past him now. Fee-fi-fo-fum! I hear the sound of a wizard man! I was just, um... Um... Uh, I... Um... I thought I told you that I eat anyone that tries to get past! Um... It's lucky for you I've run out of Thousand Island dressing! How did you know I was here? <laughs> I have got 47 ears! Fair enough. Alright, so it's dark, but he can still hear us. Mm. Alright. Uh, so, how do you th get, think we can sneak past him so that he doesn't hear us? Um, by making um, a loud, distracting noise. So that confuses him. No, it's actually the complete opposite. We somehow have to, like, mask our, the voice of our... noise of our footsteps. So this is the puzzle that I featured in the dumbest adventure game puzzles video. So Oh, you have to throw the tapestry down, do you, and walk on it? No, not that. This is the infamous where dog puzzle. What an unusual. Oh, uh, but no. I'll give it a try. So we use magic to turn the puppy who's actually like a role-playing uh, dude. I think I'll try a little magic on him. We turn him into Fluffy slippers. <laughs> so this is this is where they intend they I they intentionally did this to just keep people from finishing the game too quickly. I can't smell anything. Oh, it's you again. How come you knew I was there? The whole place stinks of goblin all the time. A strange smell sticks out like a redhead in a school. Oh, do you need to get rid of the stuff oh, now? Right. Bye then. No, it's not that. No, he's not. He says the whole castle smells like goblin, but we don't smell like goblin. So, uh, uh, it's it's really dark, so you can't really. Tell. Oh, you need the go sweat of the goblin. Yeah, there's sweat of the goblin. That's why we took the tapestry because we soak it in it. Oh, ah. And this is actually, and this is actually what we needed the chemical sprayer for because we. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The spray yourself with. Actually, I don't remember what we need the straw for, or if we need the straw for anything really. It's used for spraying. Drink it. Before. Drink the sweat. <laughs> I squeezed the sweat into the sprayer. And I guess we just. I'm not. Spray ourselves. Wait a minute, do we just. Mm. I wouldn't want to compromise my mysterious sorcerer image. Okay, I gotta remember, like, what do we. Do we do we spray the creature with it then? 
Okay. Oh no, yeah. Now he just now he just sprays it himself. It's really dark, but you uh can you can you make out what's going on? Yes, I can. Okay, yeah. Just... I'm looking at the pre uh, preview image as well. It, it looks it looks like you can you can sort of tell what's Hang going on. on while I take these stupid shoes off. All right. So what a Scooby Doo looking hallway. Oh, you, you say that now. Just wait a second. <laughs> hey, I love. I remember this from the beginning of the game. <laughs> Just... mm -hmm. Oh, that's a very Monkey Island thing too. Kerrang! That, uh... <laughs> In accordance with the what the heck? I'd better find that time. Yeah, run, runs doing something naughty with the uh, magic pool. Nasty chappy. Uh, I'd better come up with some ooh. sort of plan before tackling him. I think it's Sordid's henchman. Alright, so... And over here... Is... Sordid's robot body. Yeah. And it's Sordid's hand. And... A screwdriver. That's what we need. Is that... Like... Is that the guy in the bottle? That is essence in the bottle. Uh, no, I don't know what that is. That's just a random detail. Palm print identifier. Let's try using it. Nope. What exactly is that supposed to achieve? Okay, nothing, I guess. All right. But obviously we need it because it, it showed sort its hand, so that's what we need. I love that smoke animation, by the way. That is very 90s PC. You know what that actually reminds me of? This is giving me like Alien 3 flashbacks. Interesting. Yeah, R Alien 3 had this ver had this kind of a color scheme to it. <laughs> yeah. Please place palm on identification plate. Palm print accepted. And look at what that is. Time stick. What is a time stick anyway? <laughs> what is a time stick anyway? <laughs> Alright, we take it. And actually... Now I've got this, I'd better go downstairs and rescue myself. Yep. <laughs> it's you... Do I know you from somewhere? I just locked you up downstairs. You must be thinking of someone else. I was just leaving. Never mind, though. I was just going down to fetch Yeah, well, anyway. you, were you reacting to the door or were you reacting to the dancer, by the way? I was reacting to the dancer. Yeah, but look at the door as well. That's pretty nasty. Yep, it's that's very Clive Barker-ish. Yeah. Hang on, isn't that a troop of Balinese belly dancers? Where? There. Time for a sharp exit, I feel. Exit? Stage, exit, left. stage right. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's left, though. I mean, I know I get my left and right mixed up, but still. Oh, great. You said something about Scooby-Doo. <laughs> so, by the way, they are, there are no more puzzles. This is actually the ending. Is it? It is, yeah. There's a lot, a lot of stuff that happens here still. But yeah, it, it's all, all a cutscene from here to the end of the game. And here we are. No time to explain. Take this and get out of here. Hurry! What do I do? Uh, just fiddle with the dials. Uh, okay. I have you now. That's a weird bit of detail. <laughs> something original to say. He just, he just magic a little guy to close the door. Everything is ready, just as the master planned. It's time for you to take a little... 
<laughs> okay, this next part is really creepy, like... Because of you, my master's soul is in hell, and so you must be the one who rescues him. So we're gonna take a little trip to hell here. I have placed a release document in your hat. Look at that, blind, that little blinky, blinky red return. thing. Isn't it that... It's not a little, like a Knight Rider thing. I know, it just looks like a cool detail to me. Yeah. Now come on, little ah! beauty, eat up your porridge. Mama is creepy. Yeah, they're sorted, by the way, in the baby chair. That's what he looked like at, in the first game. Yeah, is that Mom, I hate porridge. But yeah, this yeah, this this is super creepy. We don't want any more embarrassing days now, do we? Come on, just finish this school and you'll be ready to go for school. I don't like school. The other children bully me and call me names. What do they call you, my little pumpkin? Smelly, and ugly, and pooey. You are all those things, dear. Think how it feels for me. I have to suffer the shame of being your mother. How long does this spot drag on for? It's scaring me. <laughs> for a little while, Simon's gonna show up in a second. <laughs> for that door, I imagine? Yeah. <laughs> Don't try that on with me, you ugly little creature! Eat your porridge! Alright, I think now, right about now is when Simon's gonna show up. Like I told you, there are really long, like, animated sequences in this, and, like, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Here we go. Here he comes. Hiya, Sordy Wardy. Remember me? Got a release order for this one. He's done his time. I'm sure they said he was in for eternity. That's right. He's finished it this morning. Oh, right, right. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, that, that looks super creepy. All right. Like a boss from the Splatterhouse games. Yeah. It worked! It worked! The hell is going on? All will become clear, my unwitting accomplice. Gag him. <laughs> yes, master. So yeah, they swapped uh, Sordits and Simon's bodies. Have you sent the message to Calypso? Yes, Master. He should be here any minute. Excellent. Everything's going exactly as I planned it. You're a genius, Master. Within minutes, the final stages of my plan will be complete. By using your body, I can travel back to your dimension. Once there, no one will be able to stop me from taking over the world. Get everything ready. <laughs> yes, Master. Can you show the rainy, Master? Alex. Thank God you're all right. It was awful, Grandfather. 
They locked me up in a dungeon. If it hadn't been for Simon, I don't know what might have happened to me. <laughs> I've got the wardrobe all ready for you. Thank you. <clears throat> I mean, thank you. Your voice sounds a bit funny. <laughs> I've got a, I mean, I've got a bit of a sore throat. Yeah, that's, that is kind of funny, like how his voice sounds completely different. I expect you're anxious to be off guard. That's always the thing that, uh, about body swap episodes in cartoons that always, like, confuses me is when when the characters' voices just change. <laughs> Bye, Simon. Bye. Uh, thanks for everything, uh, old friend. And uh, old friend. <laughs> yeah, he didn't remember. No. And that's the end. <laughs> well, there's a little bit more animation, but still, yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, Alan Bridgman. Wow, that's a weird way to spell that name. Yeah. Mike Woodruff, that's the other one. Uh, those were the Woodruff siblings. So what did you think of mm. Simon the Sorcerer 2? <laughs> that was an interesting ending. Yep, and that's where Simon 3D actually continues. So, uh, in the, the at the start of the next game, Simon gets his body back. And, uh... Ah, actually... There's no credit for these guys. Are these the voice actors in 3D rendered pits and bobs? Nobody at all. <laughs> yeah, they had a lot of. Yeah. <laughs> Make him moist, you. <laughs> yeah. Dave Pushon did the music. Hey, yeah, good job, good job, Dave. We, we really loved the. Uh, really, we both really loved the music in this. Yeah. Patiently collected by Mike Woodruff. <laughs> Non-specific existing and stamp licking by stamp. Patricia Woodruff. <laughs> yeah, all right. Sheila Duck. Yeah. What? Just reading the credits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got nothing else to say. It's the end of the game. Yeah. A couple of more cutscenes still. Still. Yeah. Common free coats by Simon Woodruff. Violent mood swings by Mike Woodruff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one little last goodbye from Sorted. So yeah, the thing about Simon 3D, I, sh I think I should say that I do like the comedy in, in Simon 3D. Like that's still like the best aspect of it, but it is kind of like, um, if you played it at all, or if you've seen footage from it, like it, it is pretty obvious, like they had to, that it was a bit of a ramshackle operation to get it done. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it's regrettable. I kind of would want to do like a let's play of that as well, but because I haven't gotten very far into it, that's the reason I, I, I wouldn't feel too comfortable. Like some of the music is pretty good. A lot of the jokes are pretty good. The gameplay is a bit of a mess and yeah, it looks, looks like shit. It just looked like hot shit. Unrandom number generator by Alan Richman, Bri uh, Bridgman, sorry. Hey, another Woodruff. Gothic mumbling. <laughs> Tony Dillon and Patrick Kelly. I guess these were the voice editors, possibly. Talkie speech brought back from the dead by Chris Downs and Alan Bridgman. <laughs> the moose? Okay. <laughs> All right. So maybe we should do uh, Simon One then at some point. You yes, I agree. Fossil, you've sent the wrong person back. You can't fool us, evil one. You. It's me, you doddering old fool. So did use that machine to put us in the wrong bodies. Oh, yeah, you see oh. Umbongo there as well. Oh. I'm probably stuck here in this hellhole for the rest of my natural life, and all you can say is, oh! I cannot <clears throat> believe this. I simply cannot believe this. I don't know this. who that bald kid there is, though. He's a, the... Looks like he's got a base, uh... I see the prince. Yeah. The background there. Yeah. And I see that the weird, um... Peter Laurie Smurf up there. 
Yeah, uh, Runt, yeah. Runt comes back mm. in the sequel as well. To be continued, yeah. All right, but I hope you enjoyed watching us play through Simon the Sorcerer 2. I'm Hondo the Hunter Mackinen. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.